हेलो चिल्ड्रेन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट टेरेस्ट्रियल प्लांट्स द प्लांट्स डेट ग्रो ऑन लैंड आर कॉल्ड टेरेस्ट्रियल प्लांट्स आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट प्लांट्स अडेप्टेशन इन सम टेरेस्ट्रियल हैबिटेट्स लाइक डेजर्ट माउंटेन्स फॉरेस्ट एक्सेट्रा डेजर्ट डेजर्ट प्लांट्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज जेरो they are adapted to grow in hot and dry conditions there is a scarcity of water also example let us know about cactus the leaves of cactus plants are in the form of spines this helps to reduce the loss of water and survive in desert uh, the photosynthesis in cactus plant is carried out by the green fleshy stem and water is also stored in these stems they have long roots to absorb water from deep inside the ground now next is mountains mountains are usually very cold there are rain and snowfall so most of the trees growing here are cone shaped branches are sloping which allow rain water or snow to slide off very easily their leaves are needle shaped with waxy coating to protect them from damage by rain or snow you can just look here in the picture these trees have cones now let us see about plains adaptation in plants that grow in plains is they have many branches with leaves there are deciduous trees that shed their leaves during autumn and the new leaves appear again in spring some are evergreen trees which remain green throughout the year then let us see about marshy areas these are places with clay and sticky soil with water covering over the surface of over the surface The roots of plants growing in such areas do not receive air for breathing and so these roots go grow out of the soil and water to breathe here you can see the breathing roots found in mangroves next is forest in forests the uh, the plants are usually tall there are many leaves which can capture maximum sunlight for photosynthesis now let us come to coastal areas which are generally humid trees are generally tall and example you can see here uh, coconut tree i have taken this example seeds of coconut trees are dispersed uh, dispersed to far off places by water so today we studied how some plants are adapted to live in hot and dry conditions of desert with shortage of water like in cactus we have seen now then about plants with cone shaped structure to survive in uh, snowfall conditions and about mangroves to live in marshy areas etc so thank you